get ready to be uh, turned off by how dusty it is. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Look at the fan. Alright, so today I'm going to do a quick review and installation of this Samsung SSD hard drive available in the 500 gigabyte size. This is the VNAN SSD 850 EVO. Let's do a quick unboxing. So basically what I'm doing is installing this on my Dell XPS 8300 desktop. I had to do a complete hard drive deletion and do a complete restore and reinstall of Windows 10. So I figured I might as well put it in the SSD hard drive to speed things up. Let me tell you guys see the size of this. It's really amazing with today's technology. Straight out of the box. It looks clean. And so high tech guys. Look at this. Samsung solid state drive. It's so lightweight. Let's go ahead and try to install it on my desktop. And it looks like you look to the back, there is a installation CD. Let's go ahead and take a look what is included in here. It contains installation guide, warranty information, navigator, CD, and download guide. This should be pretty much straightforward. In case you're just wondering what's all included in here. Warranty statement, installation guide, pretty much straightforward. And comes with this CD. So here's the installation guide, but unfortunately screws and brackets and cables are not included with this model. So we don't have to find a way to install it. So here is comparison guys. This is a two terabytes internal hard drive. And here is the SSD drive. It's like 15 times, at least 10 times lighter. Pretty amazing. Alright, I have to figure out how to mount it guys because there's no Whole spacing that matches the uh, configuration of this. But since there's no movable parts in this solid state drive, it might be okay to at least attach it with one screw or simply let it hang. Okay, so, you guys ready to install this? First, what you have to do is attach the data cable. There's an indenture ridge to it so the metallic side has to face up and there is a handle right here to, for release you press it in gently and to release it press down this so that you don't put too much pressure to it otherwise you might break it all right so what we're gonna do and then is to borrow this um, SATA power cable from my existing internal hard drive and attach it to this side so that's going to provide power for both systems and it goes in like this I believe okay now here comes the tricky part 
how will I attach this? Notice the spacing right here. One way of doing it is to use double-sided Velcro. You could probably attach it to the side of the casing, but we've decided to just attach it with one screw because it's so lightweight, it will be able to hold it. And then we're gonna attach the screw here. So, so apologize guys, I meant I want to attach it flat like this as opposed to what I stated before. Flat is the preferred method similar to right here. Like I mentioned, the tricky part is finding the screw to attach it to. Okay, you're cut. All right, it took a while to find the right positioning. There you go, I have it on tight. And that's as far as it goes. But fortunately, it's a lightweight device, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, moving around too much like a regular internal hard drive. So as simple as that. So upon startup, it recognized the added SSD hard drive. There you see it, Samsung SSD. Now we're going to attempt to Reinstall Windows 10 onto that SSD drive. Notice we change the order of the boot. First being the SSD, second being the other Western digital hard drive. So we're forcing the USB to install the Windows 10. The second boot up with the Samsung. I think once we have the operating system installed, we're gonna change it to the Samsung being the first boot. This my current setup. The 500 gig is the Samsung, and the other one is the Western Digital. Okay, so now it is where you select the operating system to be installed. We want it to be the drive one. Let's go to SSD drive. That makes things run faster as opposed to a traditional drive. So here we go. This might take upwards to an hour or so. So the files copied over and the computer restarted automatically. There you go. Yeah. All right guys, I wanna show you guys how fast every start with a SSD drive is. I've never seen it that fast. working there you go no password required just like that 